<laughs> All right, here we are. All right, so tell us your name. Um, so yeah, I'm a thoughtful guy. Uh, my actual name is Norman. Norman? Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I've been uh, doing street art for a couple years now. Um, I would say since like 2016. Uh, I've been painting, but I've been drawing all my life. Um, but I, I started going downtown and, um, and, and like uh, doing street art and, and, you know, in the street, doing like guerrilla art and vending for since 2016. Nice. Yeah, so I was originally a cartoonist, I would say. Like I was always into like, you know, doing my own little comic books and stuff like that. And then I kind of like evolved into doing cartoon surrealism, which is like a lot of what you see here. You know, it's like cartoonish. You know, and, and, and trippy, you know, surreal type of stuff. Uh, I like to think that it's like controlled chaos, you know, because when mm -hmm. you first look at it, you think that it's like overwhelming. But then when you really stop and think, it's like it's usually like kind of balanced and there's a structure to it and a story, you know, so it's more it's more um, organized than you than you would expect. You mm -hmm. know, but at a glance, it looks like just chaos. You know? Yeah, I can see that with this piece here. I mean, there's definitely a story. Get the floating eyes and uh, the hands reaching out. Yeah. So much stuff going on. Heal. Yeah, it's um, it's about like generational healing and uh, the relationship between a mother and son and the obstacles that you have to go through to to reach that generational healing. You know. Nice. Um, specifically, it's like how like family can like unintentionally hurt you, um, and then you have to like play like through that game of life. Um, that's you know the Monopoly esque game board, mm -hmm. and um, those are like the symbol of the elements. So it's like saying that you have to go through the elements to, mm -hmm. um, and to, to reach a little bit of um, generational healing every revolution, right? Yeah, and I, I see like a spiral. There's there's like this tunnel. Yeah, yeah. And that's symbolizing the connection between the mother and the child. So the connection is going through the heart of the mother, wow. and then it's yeah. missing. Uh, it, like it, it hit the wrong side of the child's uh, chest, so it's like mm -hmm. it missed the child's heart. So mm -hmm. it's symbolizing a misconnection. So he's actually bleeding out into the mother's hand. It's kind of hard to see. There's so much detail, you know. That so is it's, really it's like deep. Unintentionally got hurt, you know, but from like you could say maybe cultural differences or generational differences, communication gaps and stuff like that. And then it's like a misconnection that can lead to you know unintentionally being wounded, right? Yeah, I but can now, definitely see that. Yep. And then it's like, you know, who do you blame? You know, it's like, you know, it's it's, it's easy to blame or, or just like, just go through the challenges to reach that healing, the generational mm -hmm. healing. So you don't, you don't um, give it to the, the next generation. You don't give it to your children or the next you know, generation of people around you and your family, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, recognize the disconnection. Right. Recognize that for what it is. Yeah. And, you know, what, what's the point of perp perpetuating it, right? I mean, yeah. perpetuating it, I mean. It's, so it's like, it's, 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 it just, comes just to stages, it. right? Cause it is it's what like, it is. First, you have to become aware of it, because more than likely, like, mm -hmm. you grew up, like, subconscious to it, but it's still affecting you. And then you come to become aware of it, and then, you know, once you, once you see what's happening, it might piss you off, so you might have that, like, angry phase. Then you have, like, the acceptance, and then, you, and then it's like, how do I move past it and actually reach that healing, you know, so that I can, uh, you know, heal others who have like similar traumas and then um, also heal the next generation, you know what I mean? Absolutely, and that's why you have the word heal there too. Yeah, so. and that's, that's, I just ripped that from Monopoly. Um, yeah, you know, you're going yeah. around the board, man. That's, yep. Yeah. That's that's right, oh, I love how the Monopoly board is encasing her, right, with the, it's like an umbilical cord going right yeah, out. Yeah, this took a very long time to paint. It took me about like a year. Um, when when did you start it? Oh man, probably at th that three years ago. Wow! And I finished it two years ago. Nice. And now I just you know I just have it on the road with me. I, I, I see Dali behind you. Has he been an inspiration with you with some of the imagery that you use, some of the metaphoric, the the, the storytelling For sure. aspects? The surrealism, yeah. And I, I just went to the Dali Museum in St. Pete recently, and it was very inspiring to me. Mm -hmm. um, and I realized when I went there, I've always thought that Dali was one of my favorites, but when I went to the museum, I realized I haven't really seen a lot of his art. Mm -hmm. You know, I just kind of know what he's about with surrealism and the multi clocks, but I've only seen like his most popular paintings. But then when I went to the, you know, the gallery, I, I kind of saw like, wow, I'm, you know, I'm very inspired. And yeah. even though I didn't see a lot of his art, I still feel like I was kind of, in, in a way, like, um, you know, um, have similar, like, tendencies, you know? Like, mm -hmm. I could see how, like, I'm kind of, like, pulling from his inspiration, you know? 
Oh, so yeah, he's, he's, he's definitely one of the greatest, so, you know. And this piece, you and I were talking earlier, so this piece, uh, you're still working on this. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm still working on this right now. I'm probably going to paint this a little bit tonight downtown. Oh, cool. Yeah, I added, awesome. I added like, um, some shading right here. Like, this wasn't colored in when you when I first saw you. Okay, so, so you, yeah, so you've been painting since yeah. I've been walking around. I just added a little bit of drop shadows and, like, filling nice. in some colors and stuff like that, you know. I'm taking my time with it, you know. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been fun. Like I, I've only recently started painting like this kind of style, I guess. Because um, I started off just kind of just sketching out his face, like more like a traditional mm -hmm. portrait. And then I'm like, oh, but this is Dali. Like I need to make it more surreal. Like you know, let me break him up. You said. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Let me just break it apart, right? You know, like just you know, I feel like he deserves it. You know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, totally. like totally I, appreciate I gotta make him that. proud, man. Yeah. You know. So um, yeah, so it's been a fun painting. You yeah, know. that's awesome. So, yeah, and so are you here at Favo every every month? At the this is only my second time here. Second time. Um, yeah, so I know that Favo has been going on for a couple years, but then it paused, and now it's coming back. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna be here more regularly while I'm still in Orlando. Mm -hmm. But of course, I'm gonna be leaving soon. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if I told you I was gonna be leaving for Van Life soon. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I did. Uh, I did tell you that. Well, this is my yeah. van. It's converted uh, to live out of this van, right? So nice. I was gonna be like a traveling artist. Uh, so I'm gonna be just like kind of traveling through America for like a few months. Cool. Uh, I'm going up to New York, and then I'm going out west. Awesome. I'm gonna go to Canada, and then I'm gonna come back. Oh, uh, west? You gonna uh, all the way to California? Uh, yeah, probably. Awesome. Yeah, I definitely want to hit Arizona for sure. My brother's in Vegas. Uh, definitely wanted to hit like Oregon. Uh, there's so much of America that I haven't seen. I've only seen Atlanta and New York and Arizona. Yeah, you might as well you know? go see it. Man. Yeah, so there's so much to see, you know, so like it's kind of like the perfect time for me right now. Mm -hmm. so, so Canada too. So, yeah, I haven't seen any of Canada. How, how's the van run? Is it? It's running great. That's yeah. good. And it's like fully converted, bro. It's, it's nice. It looks, it's nice, it looks like it's comfortable. I mean, it's like, very comfortable. I mean, because you get enough space. I mean, yeah, the, the paint I job love is these. terrible, there's rust, whatever, but like, yeah. you know, but the inside is better than the outside. Yeah, totally. You know? yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So you could fit the canvases in there. You're going to have enough for the paint. Right, yeah. Yeah, clothes and, uh -huh. and yeah. basically, and, and yeah, it's enough room. So you can it's, work. It's, it's tricked out pretty well. It's like a whole like kitchen in there, like kitchen countertop and a fridge, microwave, um, cabinets everywhere. You know, it's oh cool, stuff. you get a fridge and microwave. Yeah, awesome. And, uh, yeah, it's very practical. So like shower and stuff, you could hit like the Y or something, or yeah, yeah like hit Planet Fitness or something. But I actually yeah. have a pop up shower. Cool. Um, yeah, you know, so it, yeah, it's gonna nice. be it's gonna be pretty good. I, I basically just have a bunch of camping equipment that kind of mm -hmm. doubles as van life, you know, gear. So. Did, did you sell any of your, um, you know, you said you were doing like comics and like zines, yeah. you were doing art with it. Yeah. Was there any place in town or were you selling them on the street or was there like... Uh, a, no, there's no like spot like designated where I'm selling it. Um, you know, I just, it's mostly wherever I am. Because I'd love uh, to see you like one of those. Yeah, of those. I actually would, would, I was thinking about that. It would be cool to like um, have a place like, you know, just to display the comics. I just haven't mm -hmm. really, I just haven't done it yet. I know mm -hmm. a few places where I probably could do that. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe I'll do that in the future. Yeah, when I was in LA in Highland Park, that you know some of the bookstores had they had racks full of stuff where you could put stuff, full which of was like cool. Like uh, local artists. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, which was cool. Yeah, I should probably just reach out to some people. But at this so there's time, some right places in town that that have that kind of stuff, right? Zines yeah. and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I have a relationship with this smoke shop that would probably take the comments. That's cool. I awesome. just have to run an idea about them, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I love the art, man. Uh, and what's the name of that piece that we were talking about here? So it's kind of a long name. Um, it's called Baby Huey Enters the Game. Nice. All right. Um, and Huey is like my alter ego. A lot of the art has um, this guy with the purple square eyes. Like uh, this, this guy and this guy is kind of the same guy. Mm -hmm. um, and if you look over here, this little boy is the same dude with the square eyes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so it's like recurring characters. Yeah, well, yeah. It's like it's like a like a self portrait, like yeah. but in different styles, right? Mm -hmm. um, but it's also like an alter ego. I've been drawing that character since I was 15. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I'm actually like kind of developing like this. Um, I wanted to be like kind of like a comic book hero. Like so, I, I'm, I'm developing like a backstory, nice. and, um, like a superhero origin story type of thing. 
Nice. You know, and um, yeah. that's you know, it's gonna take me some time, like, but like in the maybe in the far out in the future, it's gonna be like a, a more developed, um, you know, story story arc for him. That's cool, you know what man. I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah, that's one of my bigger ideas. Nice. Coming soon. <laughs> yeah, totally, man. Yeah. Well, it's been great, you know, interviewing you and, you know, meeting you today. Hopefully I can catch, catch up with you in the future here at Vavo and maybe see this Dali one finished, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that'd be cool. I think I'm probably going to be at the next one. Um, okay. Because every first Friday, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm more than likely going to be at the next one. Nice. Um, and then, uh, the, like, mid-May um, is when I'm planning on leaving. I wanted to be up north in the summer. You know? Good time, yeah. Yeah, when it's still like warm, you know yeah. what I mean? And then I'll head out west before it gets cold. Yeah, you don't have to worry about driving on ice and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. Snow, yeah. And, yeah. So, um, yeah, cool. I'll be here one more time. So, your plan is to come back to Orlando after the road trip, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so like basically, I wanted to come back to Orlando and then um, and build a house. Uh, that's like my, my goal build a nice. tiny house, a tiny house on wheels. Cool. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna do that before I uh, before I found this van, but then I just found this and it was perfect. Yeah. So like, you know, let me just. It's meant to be right now. Yeah, yeah exactly. So I can just go and travel right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, but, um, but I've been wanting to build build a tiny house for a long time. That's like my dream. You know, so I'm gonna do it here in Orlando. Awesome, so, man. Definitely. Yeah, that's, that's the master plan, bro. Yeah, totally. <laughs> that's, all right. So you're on Facebook, right? Yeah, I'm on Facebook. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, where can we find you on Facebook? Um, so uh, my Facebook page is uh, facebook.com slash a thoughtful guy. Or cool. um, my personal page is also kind of doubles as my art page, um, Norman Thoughtful. Yeah, nice. You can find me there. And see so I can track you as, as you're traveling. That's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's I'm, cool. I've been... I've been, uh, people have been telling me to do some vlogging, you know what I mean, document yeah. the experience, and I'm like, oh, you know what, I should probably do that, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna be cool stories. Yeah, sounds yeah. good, man, definitely. Yeah. All right, well, we'll be tracking you. All right. It's been great meeting you, man. Thanks, yeah. appreciate Thanks. it.